During the intro, I was just thinking about all the work that must go into preparing a track like this, all the balancing and building it takes to make sure these cars can maintain the right amount of speed through all the features, especially that final hill. What a feat it must be. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, and for that commenter who said I forgot to introduce myself in the last video, hey everybody again, I'm still Brendan. <laughs> Here we go, heat one, as we head into day four, Dodge Charger, McLaren, Elva, Corvette, and the Conisei. And this time the Conisei was fast, well, out of the gate there, and then kind of lost it through that first turn, but Again, a speedster on the track here, and we'll see how these four cars adapt to this course. Quite a course it is, high level of features, nudge there from the McLaren, and we'll head into the spiral. And this spiral is always a good place to build up speed. Cars whip out of the spiral, big jump from the Conisec. Oh, skid there from the McLaren, anyone? Oh, and on the side, the Dodge Charger, and somehow he'll be bumped into second place. The McLaren will slowly cruise over for third, and the Corvette will do none better than not finishing. <laughs> looks a little beaten up there. Great dragon. Can you see that? On the front of the car? Oof. What a rough hit, but that helped out the Charger. And the dragon of a Corvette works out with zero points here in the first one. Let's get to heat two. And it's hard to say who our best racers are here today. McLaren gets a terrible start out of the gate. He's already down a few lengths, especially on that Corvette who got out fast. Conaseg, though, you see, has the ability to build speed on the single lane section. He's going to be a tough one to beat. Here comes back to McLaren with a burst of speed. Has the inside line here. He's going to take a big, wide lead. He might be on track for record. Bounces in. Two bounces off the wall. Dodge Charger right behind. Conaseg slips to third. Corvette still hanging in last place. Here's a big push from the McLaren. Almost off camera. Camera skids, but does not stop. Will not break any records, but will cross in first place. Who followed right behind? Conaseg there had the slot behind the Charger. There was just, I mean, there was room to pass, but he did not have acceleration. And the Charger had a good time there zigging and zagging to keep him cut off. Five points for the McLaren, five for the Conaseg. They're tied, and the Dodge Charger not far behind. Looks like our very beautifully designed Dragon Corvette. Unfortunately, doesn't have the speed today. And unless it does something miraculous here is, well, I'm gonna appear in last place. Let's see if he can do it. Inside line here, he's out to a lead there for a second. The Conaseg fights back in, but I'm worried about this outer line he's gotta take. Look at the wide line right into fourth place. And even further down, Conaseg, ooh, gets a short end of the stick on the conversion. Here comes the McLaren around the spiral. He has a lot of room to work with, and he's fast here. Big jump, ooh, usually turns here, but doesn't this time. Finishes strong, Conaseg, and the Corvette is not going to be in last place as the Charger knocks him across. 14.8. Remember, our uh, record is about 13.65. I don't remember the rest of the decimals, but, well, not really that important. Well, they are, but uh, whatever. I'm going to tell you 13.65, and if we have to remember some decimals, I'm sure we'll do it when, it, when, the, when the bridge needs to be crossed, we'll say. Someone in the comments is going to remember them, so you can look there. Heat 4. First round here, no chance for the Corvette to move on. At least I don't think so. No, definitely not. We have 12 points in the McLaren, Conaseg with 10, Dodge Charger there with 7, so has a chance, but the Conaseg must do bad and the Charger must do good. Right now he's sitting in 4th place, Conaseg up to 2nd place, even pushing to 1st place there as he gets the inside line of the turn over the McLaren. How is he going to run into the back straight? Really good for a second, then spins. Now nose to nose with the McLaren, and the McLaren's pushed forward by the Dodge Charger, and he's going to get away with it. Dodge Charger's kind of stuck there, Conaseg backwards trying to play it through, and will not catch up. Wow, nice chaos in order. Uh, nothing from the Corvette who will take his second DNF and, well, cruise home. I mean, he's a looker for sure, but that's not going to do you good when the name of the game is speed. And sometimes the name of the game is just agility or intelligence or strategy in these uh, more tricky, wider sections, but none of those features really apply here to the Dragon Corvette. Just uh, He's just tattooed very nicely. Moving on, advances again, the McLaren and the Conaseg, deserving advances, well-raced throughout. 
second group. We have not seen any sort of individual or even partial sweep so far. This has been fascinating. Usually we'd see those a lot more egregiously. Not so this time. Let's see if any car can try to muster that ability. Far back there, the Lotus took a bad line starting off, but it's really the Pagani who does not have the speed right now. Ford Shelby breaks away from the pack here, even over the Pontiac, who was fast early on. Here we go through the spiral, whips through, not even on the inner line of that. A lot of speed he must have, big jump, and he's all right. He's gonna be slow to finish, but still with a strong time of 14.5, followed there by the Pontiac, and then the Lotus, and the Pagani. I mean, this is a slow car right now. Must have picked up some speed on the spiral, but that's about all he can do. Pretty uh, simple start to this one. Hard to really call out a necessary winner since we had so many leaders early on. Mm, but uh, let's try to capture the essence of this through the next race. Remember to join the Discord server if you haven't already. We try to be as active there as possible. Some people are talking in there, and the more we add, the more we'll be able to talk races and fun. <coughs> And subscribe to this channel, of course, ring that notification bell, all that good stuff. That's how you stay contacted, that's how you support us, and that's how you know when there's more races and fun content to view. Fireside, Ford Shelby, early lead, big line, drops the third. Pontiac has room to run, but the Ford Shelby quickly catching up here, and right on the inside, he's gonna take the lead by a few lengths, bumps into the back stretch, nice and straight, actually. Pontiac finds the line, and there has to be a nose block, and it looks like the Ford Shelby breaks away from the nose block, nice and strong, gain momentum, big jump, and the Pontiac can't control himself, he'll finish second again. A well put on nose block. We won't get the replay that far back, but I will say that was expert. All right, once you get the Pontiac uh, on the far side, they're trying to push through in that open lane. When you're the Ford Shelby, you got to do something to cut him off. And not only did he do that, he broke away strong from that. He used the spiral to his advantage and broke away outside and got in front of the Pontiac from a nose block position. Not the easiest thing to do, and we're working on a partial sweep as I was just talking about. We had had none so far. So let's see if he can keep it up. Ford Shelby, eyes on him. He's gonna push it to three wins in a row if he can take this one, and that will build some excitement here for that fourth race, even though he'll clinch an advancing position for sure. Let's see what he does. Inside line, so he breaks out to a big lead right now, but Pontiac is still in the game here and closing that gap quickly. Far line, and the Ford Shelby drops back for a second. Can he converge nicely? Ooh, converges badly. Pontiac breaks away. Big lead for him, but will he make mistakes in the back straight? Will he end that partial sweep? And the jump is good. He stopped on the track, and the Ford Shelby gets a lucky line. The Pontiac muffed a win. And he's still strong enough to be advancing to the finals, I think, after this next race, as long as he stays focused. But, the Ford Shelby is threatening a partial sweep. And I don't know if you noticed there on the scoreboard, but the Lotus also has a three where he shouldn't have one. I'll kind of point that out in a second. See, look at that. He, he had all the open space, but the Ford Shelby and backwards nonetheless. Crosses a little bit in front. Had room to make something happen. See, look at that, 3-3 three, three in round two. So, obviously, Lotus had a two there, not a three. That's all right. You guys know now. Here we go. Far side. Pontiac. Early lead, Ford Shelby fighting back in, looking for that partial sweep. This is big for the Ford Shelby. We'll put up the first partial sweep of this tournament, but he's falling behind right now. Pontiac would have to make another mistake, bounces into the back straight, nice and straight, but here comes the Ford Shelby with some speed. Here comes the curves, and Ford Shelby, can he break away here? He has a nudge, and they jump, and they're all over the place, and I think the Pontiac ends the partial sweep. Yes, he does. 14.2, a fast race for both of them. Knock forward, and the Lotus will strand himself with the Bagani, 
right on the track, and they're gonna be they're gonna be going home. They'll probably take a trip together and stop at Five Guys or something on the way home, and be like, you know, we gave it our best, but you know, some cars are meant for the race course, and some are just you know, some are just meant for the for the home front. I'm sure they had fun. They look like they're having fun there. I mean, I don't know what that might look like, but eh, maybe. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of electric action going on between them. Ford Shelby, Pontiac advancing. And we have the finals. Remember, the first two that moved on, the McLaren and the Condorcet, also very fast vehicles. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see how they fare against each other. I think the Ford Shelby is still your fastest car, though I'm not 100% sure. Let's see how he breaks out against this Condorcet, who had a lead there for a second and lost it. Through the first turn, McLaren breaks away. Pontiac trying to stay with him and actually exceeds him by going way in front. Ford Shelby cuts in as well, only a few lengths behind. They both bump in badly, and the Pontiac has jumped forward by the Condorcet through the open gap. Here comes both of the cars for the first heat. They're up in the second and third place. Big jump from the Ford Shelby. He's on his back, and he's knocked off the track. McLaren is knocked across the line, and Ford Shelby goes from first to last to not even present. I need a deep breath after that one. Woo! So, I don't even... There's only so many ways... I don't. I can't. Sometimes I can't contain myself. That's a lot going on. That's a, that's a lot going on on the course. I can't even give you a, a follow-up line to to decelerate that. Ford Shelby was literally flipped off the track by the McLaren, who was then nudged forward. Not to mention the Ford Shelby was nudged forward by the Condorcet earlier on. A lot of nonsense. And the Ford Shelby somehow ends up with zero points in that first one. He's going to work to fight back here. He is the fastest car in this second heat, the second race so far. Pontiac fights his way back in. Ford Shelby is accelerating, though. Will he find a gap? Pontiac tries to turn. Nice nose block put on again. Same thing. Condorcet pushes the Ford Shelby to first place. Condorcet is almost off the track here. Here comes the Pontiac trying to fight his way back in. Ford Shelby, who has a trouble with the hill, but crosses in first place. McLaren and Condorcet stay put as they cross. And things were shaken up in this one. McLaren, remember, finished second in the last one and does, well, actually doesn't manage to finish its third this time. And the Pontiac in second, so it's all moved around. And the Conaseg was your first place finisher in the first one and went right to last. So now things are back to pretty even numbers-wise. We have three fives and a six. Conaseg with a one-point advantage. See how this will turn out. But keep an eye on the Pontiac there, who's taking a big lead. Has a wide line to work with. Cars will fight their way back in. Conoseg in second place right now. Pontiac straighter this time into the back straight. So if we can stay put here and not make the mistake on the hill, should be okay. Let's see the jump. Big jump. Oh, stays on the course nicely. And he's okay. That's a big finish for him. Conoseg follows. Then the Ford Shelby and the McLaren. 14.4. And we have some numbers to come. So... Looks like there the Pontiac goes to 10 points. Conaseg there will jump from 6 to 9. And Shelby from 5 to 7. And actually, technically, the McLaren is still within this one, but would need a win and some nonsense and some DNFs and everything. So let's see what happens. We have 10 points there for the Pontiac. We have to follow the Shelby, who's fighting his way back in. Needs a first place to try to keep things alive, and the Pontiac would have to do worse than second. Let's see if that can happen. Looks like the Ford Shelby has a good line here to break away from this one in the lead, and that he does by a couple lengths, but the Pontiac is still in the game here. Ooh, straight into the back straight. No bumps, maybe one slide there, but it maintains quite a bit of speed. He runs down Pontiac right into the tail. Big jump, and the Ford Shelby's off. The Pontiac is grinding the rail, but he will cross. And the Pontiac keeps more control than any other car and deserves this win. Though maybe not the fastest overall, if you leave the track twice, you can't move on. And with that, wow. I mean, that might have been some effort from the Pontiac to, to put on some sort of back nudge because it looked like there was contact over the hill. Though I can't be sure. And the Condorcet McLaren will follow shortly after. Well, without victory. Conoseg closest 
the Pontiac overall. Ford Shelby, Valiant try, but two DNFs won't do it. Pontiac moving on with the other three, and that'll do it. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time on Races and Fun.